Alright, where do I want to go next? Uh, uh, I want to do the north part of the south. Uh, I'll do... I'll do the northern part, and then we'll cross back to the southern part. We'll make a big old loop. <clears throat> you can go up here, but there's nothing. It's a waste of time. You can't go over there, because this sheer wall separates the north and southern parts of this spot in the desert. But over here, somewhere over here, is another fight with a Chaos Lieutenant. He's in the reinforcements this time, but he's there! In the meantime, it's just these Wimpo Chaos Warriors. Maybe we'll even scare away the Lieutenant. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Mm. And speaking of the Lieutenant, I reached a ruling about the Chaos Deathwing. I decided what I want to do with it. Basically, I'm not going to give it to another enemy. Just because I could doesn't mean I should. And I don't really have any good options to give it to anyway. Like I mentioned before, there aren't a lot of overlaps in the items that I distributed to creatures. But, uh, I did decide to change the weapon's name and type to be more reflective of its model. It is super disappointing that we can't use the actual Chaos Deathwing. We can all cry ourselves to sleep for that until our modding our capabilities improve someday. But, since it looks like a Chaos Staff, I figured it might as well be a pole weapon, and I might as well give it something that sounds more appropriate. So instead of Chaos Deathwing, I named it the Chaos Death Striker. I still need to check the text and make sure it fits within the window, because that's kind of a long name. It's really pushing the character limit of what you can name things in the editor. But, yeah. I felt like that was an appropriate rename for that thing. Oh, they're here already! I'm gonna start tangling them up. Hey there, guy. I'm standing next to you. I'm gonna hit you with my sword. Aww. So yeah, it still has all like the same effects and stuff that the weapon always did. It's just called the Death Striker now instead of the Death Wing. Although I did realize there is an unused enemy weapon that I could successfully replace the Deathwing with ch it, or with bleh, 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 words. Replace the Deathwing with if I so wished. <laughs> uh, you may recall uh, back in Port Said whenever we were going to do the thing with Chaos Isle initially and setting sail and all that fun stuff I mentioned the giant squid which is an unused enemy. The unused enemy has an unused item. It's called Tentacle Slap, and uh, it's basically just a claw attack for a tentacle. Since the weapon is unused, and the enemy is unused, there's no reason I couldn't repurpose that weapon as a new Chaos Deathwing for the lieutenants, and then make the Chaos Death Striker belong to something else. But it still leaves the question of what would I give it to? And it's something I'll ponder. I might be able to come up with something, but I doubt it. Things are pretty well covered as it is. But maybe out there somewhere is an enemy who can actually make use of the weapon. And I just haven't thought of it yet. You guys, I want you to run away now. Oh, hello there, sir. May I talk to you about the Wrath Aura that I know? Yeah, oh, scary. Let's see if he runs. I'll be so happy if he does. Uh, I need to scare that warrior too. I'm just casting with reckless abandon here. Don't even care. No, he's gonna do the thing again! Ah, oh, he's curing all the guys! 
I should have seen this coming. I'm a moron. <laughs> and I was gonna spend like 300 turns casting out every unit on the field. Alright, well at least Alaron isn't tied up in combat yet. He can walk over and teach this lieutenant a lesson for being so cheeky. Or Brenna can do it too. She's pretty strong. <laughs> Maybe burn some people, I guess. Oh, he's too close to the warriors. He's not going to cast it on the lieutenant. Just singe them a little bit. That was a warning singe. See, he's running anyway. <laughs> don't. No, don't do it. Did I really forget he had these abilities since last time? I guess I just really had my fingers crossed that he would chicken out and run. He still could. If we kill enough of these guys, his morale will go down. Eh. You know what? Let's do it. Let's kill all these stupid Chaos Warriors and see if the Lieutenant will flee. Because that would be great. I feel like that would be more fun than just killing him. It would be a moral victory. Oh, look at this dork here. There you go, Sorcerer. Brenna's gonna run over and hitch too. How about that? How about that? 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 Kill! Two hits! Swipe this guy. Hit this guy. Uh oh, he's casting Wall of Bones. You better not soft lock my game, buddy. I'll be mad. You gotta be careful with that spell. Hitting this warrior as he runs. So dishonorable. Did I get my Dispel Necro up yet? Eh, I only want to cast it on Rana. Yeah, Freeder! I undid your evil doings, guy. So what now? What now, buddy? Yeah, your Chaos Warrior fled. What you gonna do? Oh, he's still got fighting him. He doesn't want to leave. Eh, oh. He resisted. He's still casting Wall of Bones on Brenna and threatening to softlock the game. Fine. Fine. No, it's fine. Okay. We'll just kill him. We'll kill him after all. You gonna run now? How you feeling, buddy? Still confident? Still cool? Huh? I'm gonna give you one last chance. Oh, it's, so it's war then. Screw you. Splat. Woohoo. Hey, we got that armor off him again. Isn't that nice? Oh, wait, was that full plate mail? I was thinking of Royal Plate Mill. Whatever. Meh. One fewer lieutenant in the world. Uh, da, da, da. Um, cross the bridge over here. There's a scene with Ferris that I don't want to miss somewhere nearby here. Uh, I might run along the canyon to make sure we get it because I don't know if it disappears with what's it uh with the events in ugarit like raiders did we missed my favorite cutscene with raider because i was dumb let's uh, head over here first for now around this bend we've got a big old pile of bones and i've got some interesting stuff to say about this but um, well, there's kind of a, a few events that happen right around here, but we'll, we'll do this part first. So, picking this up, I was wrong. This is a sleep gas flask. I thought it was an acid flask, but it was a sleep gas flask. So there's this pile of bones here, sitting 
in what appears to be the stomach cavity of a dragon. And then there's this note. Your Majesty, King Lear, I have failed. The Jundar found me before I could poison their well. I barely escaped with my life. Now I flee to Maxon, but dragons fill the sky above me. I pray I have not destroyed our hopes in the war. I still have the poison. Perhaps when things have settled down, I can try again. The sound of leathern wings rises above me. The mouth of the canyon is but a short way north. If I can only make it, I will send this letter when I am able. Forgive me, your humble servant, Jorath. So here's the thing about this note. Uh, Chris was curious about it the other day, the uh, one of the authors of the game. And I showed him the note, and he said he had no recollection of that, and also that it wasn't anywhere in like his records of the game's writing. So it seems that this note was added by someone somewhere in like the th three months or so time span between when they dismissed the writers and when they finished the game. Like he even said that this name at the end of the letter, Jorath, is not one of the er, names that you can find in like their reference books that they used for naming people specifically in this game. So it's kind of interesting that this letter is here because what it basically implies is that uh, this guy was eaten by a dragon and then the poison he had on him poisoned the dragon and it died right here. But the problem with that is that these were supposed to be the bones of Alold, the uh, dragon that taught the Mirari and that granted naming magic to humans. Alold was on the side of the humans way back when the Jundar War was happening, and Ruga was on the side of the Jundar. And so it wouldn't really make sense for Alold to make a snack out of a guy that was supposed to be on his side. And so Chris basically told me over Discord that he's officially retconning this, that uh, these are in fact Alold's bones, and this note does not mean what it implies that the dragon was poisoned. So I guess the new theory that I'm gonna go with is that this dragon, or I guess Alild, was flying along one day and he had a heart attack and fell out of the sky on top of this fellow and that's how they died together on the spot. That's that's my working theory and I'm gonna roll with it. That That's the story of the dragon bones in the desert now. And these dragon bones are an important landmark because they help you find this guy, who is not a normal encounter. Uh, let's see, I've got like 15 more minutes left in this session. I think we can get through what I need to do in that time. First, we've got to talk to this guy. So it is you. You chose the wrong path, squire. Uh, are you so deadly? Most people think so. What if I don't? Then you may tell them differently if we don't kill you first. So this is a special combat. Uh, it, it triggers a series of events. I know he's just going to cast Dispel Necro on them again. I don't care. I'm doing this. I'm going to run Alaron over there and bonk him right after this anyway. So we'll see if it even matters. In fact, can I... Web him? Yeah, let's web him. Yeah, now you can't do the thing, nerd. Ah! <laughs> what now, Chaos Lieutenant? He's probably gonna break out in like a second because he's so freaking strong, but that'll give us time to run over here and start hitting him. While his Chaos Warriors are chickening out. Yeah! Get him, get him! There, he's probably out of stamina already. Don't worry, guy. We'll get you more protection someday. Then you won't be such an embarrassment anymore. This guy has a lot of backup, too. Look at all those chaos monsters. I think some of them might even be maulers. Oh, look at this nerd. Run away, chaos warriors. Uh, I'm gonna stand next to you to make it easier. Yeah, see, there you go, guy. There you go. Run over here, because this is where the rest of the reinforcements are going to be popping up. Teleport Donovan over there. You can use one of his few talents. 
There you go, Donnie. Good job. Baird. Can also teleport. Or you should be able to. Yeah, I see it in pretty kit. He got right up in Donovan's grill there. Hello. Hi. That guy is going gone. Sweet. Death on you. Yeah. Get scared. He's not running. I cast Aura of Death on you and you're still fighting. What's your problem, guy? Who do you think you are? Oh, I guess that one's not close enough to flee. Ah, oh, yeah, see, there are maulers. Ah, scary. Hit, hit. Eh, let's hit this guy. Can you, can you not? Can't you run? Oopsies, I needed Brenna to cast on that guy. She probably still can. Spell's got unlimited freaking range. I'm sure she can reach him. And she'll probably get another turn before he even gets to move. That guy's fleeing. Uh, Baird's next to him, he'll be fine. I'm gonna hit the mauler. There you go. Surprisingly, these guys are even more resistant to physicals than lieutenants. They have like 75 physical resist, which is absurd. No, oh, that's not the one I want. We want Aura of Wrath. You should run, Mauler. You should head for the hills. It's true, you know. There, that guy got away now. Oh, now there's a second Mauler. Oh, he's still crowding this guy. Alaron can move over here, though. I'll give him a bonk, too. So much damage. Cast it again. Gotta get move on. Can't horse around with these guys for too long. Oh, the trooper's all the way over there. Are you serious? Oh, he's fighting. Hey. Hey. I don't think you understand what we're going for here. We're trying to be efficient and make you run away. Yeah, crab people's all the way over there. Aleron's mm -hmm. yeah, the one has to cast it on them. War of death. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to attack him. Well, I guess that's one way of getting rid of him efficiently. Baller, just die. You can't even hit Donovan, you're pathetic. Why are you so bad? Ugh. You guys just wait there. I'll cast on all the crab people. Oh, there's one over here too. That's nice. That's super great. Aura of death, please leave. It's 8 o'clock for me. 8 p.m. Still got a ways to go, though. Oh, no, no, no. Not a long ways to go, so. Oh, man, I was hoping I could get more done in this session, but I guess it's just, I just underestimated how much there is to do. Da, 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 da. Come on. Come on, crowd people. You're supposed to be a little bit quicker than this. Da, 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 da. Yes, flee toward the enemy. That's how it works. So one of them late game combats would be interesting if the monsters weren't balanced for mid game. That was a lot of points though. Like wow. Almost as much as the bandits. 